Nate, we're here today managing PR on your image. You've been known as Negative Nate for all of your negative takes on top five worst videos. Uh, what do you have to say about that? All I have are negative thoughts. Well, that makes sense. Well, I'm, I'm glad to have you here. Uh, hopefully you stay on script and stay positive today uh, as we look at the five best suit powers in Marvel Spider-Man on the PS4. So do you think you can handle that? Honestly, what is life, Jay? Uh, what is life? Well, you know what? We're just going to move on okay. and take a look at our number one pick. I guess it's number five, which is actually the Iron Arms. Now, this came with the MCU Iron Spider suit. Yeah, the the Iron Arms actually debuted in Infinity War. Ooh, thank you. Just a little uh, uh, fact there for you. Thank you very much. But um, no, they are really good. They're it's like so it's uh, like spider legs that extend mm -hmm. out of your back. Yep. And basically, what they do is when you're in combat, they basically just attack everyone around you. Yeah, you just start punching, and they'll <laughs> be hitting people at the yeah. same time. Really, uh, just doing their thing. I think a lot of people will remember this, like you said, from Infinity War, uh, and even it made an appearance in Far From Home, actually, but it was like very minor in the extended cut, uh, and it's appeared in Endgame. This is, you know, this is something that is a staple of the Iron Spider suit from the MCU. It originally, actually, even before that, came from the comics. So back in the original Civil War, Spider-Man, right before that, got this suit from Tony Stark. That inspired the MCU one, then it came into the game, and it's it's just pretty incredible. It's it really just slams through everybody, I think. I mean there's yeah. there's really no defense against it. It kinda this thing. take takes out everyone. Yeah. So since it just kinda does its thing and almost plays the game for you, it definitely does belong on this list. And it makes you a lot more like a Spider-Man, I guess, too. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> I'm known for my jokes, Marie. <laughs> so the next one we have is actually quad damage. So, what is there to say about quad damage? Um, so, it basically is like, a, what would you say, like electrocutes your arms or something? Yeah, like strengthens but, your yeah. punches, like it so, powers them up. Yeah, like it times your power by like four or something. Yep. So, every punch you do does four times the amount of damage. Yep. So, this thing is really useful because of that. Uh, especially for going up against enemies where it's like you they'd be like a punch sponge, I guess you'd say. Like, yeah. they'd just be taking tons of hits to take down. This really sort of levels the playing field in that way. I would say this really actually is helpful, though, too, on something like uh, Ultimate difficulty. Yeah. So, Ultimate's not impossible. But um, it's a lot harder. It is a lot harder just because you take more damage. So, like, if you're good at dodging, it's still pretty much you can kind of breeze through it. If you have issues with dodge timing at all or you just make some mistakes, like, I've made mistakes against the Sable army, especially in the story. Well, especially the flying ones. Yeah, because like, it, it can be hard to time those dodges. This sort of does work to actually be like, oh, you dish out that much more damage to me, I can dish it right back to you. Yeah, it levels the playing field. Yeah, but it's not like the equalizer. So it's not like if you make that one mistake, you just die right, instantly, right. but they do too. You just are able to put them down while they dish the damage out to you. Yeah, we were deciding on the equalizer, and that was actually one of the negative effects of it. Yeah. Uh, so that's definitely not on the list. Yeah, but the equalizer seems more it's... useful for challenge runs. Right. Like, if you're someone who's like, I want to play the whole game with the equalizer on, to say I did it, which people yeah. will do online or just with their friends or stuff like that. There's people who enjoy games that way, kind of like speedrunning. Uh, neither of us is really a challenge no. run person at all. It doesn't um, seem fun to me. Yeah, but... not not really to me either, uh, for the most part, unless like it's maybe my favorite game ever I've played five billion times. But like, I guess that is useful for that, but the quad damage we both think is a lot better. So the next one we actually have is, I think this is probably your favorite. That this you, is, this the is my favorite. This is my favorite. So I think you can speak the most to this one. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually don't think I used any other suit powers that much. But this one. Yeah, once you got this. Yeah. And yeah. that is the Spider Bro. Uh, so this is this is a lot like the Spider Drone, mm -hmm. which is the gadget power, except for it's more powerful. Yep. And there's only one of them. And it just sprays everyone around you. It uh it just like opens fire on everyone. Yeah. And um it basically kills them all too. Yeah, I mean it's like electrocuting them. I'm sure no, you know what, they're unconscious. They're unconscious, right, they're right, not yep, dead, this yep. is not insta-kill mode for the out. suit. It just knocked them out. But it really does hit them with all these high voltage rounds all yeah. at once, and it's a lot like the 
electric webs too, like the right. electric webs combined with the spider drone, but I would say it's more powerful than both of those combined. Yeah, if you're ever in a pinch, I just throw out the spider, bro, and you're good. Yeah, like it's just out there doing work. It's like, oh, okay, well, that was interesting. Moving on. Pretty much, yeah. And I also think, too, that it's it's just a fun gadget because it really does tie into the, well, suit power, not gadget, I suppose. But it, it sort of ties the gadgetry and the suit powers together in the same way that the Iron Spider does. Yeah. So, like, Spider-Man is not known nearly as much as someone like Batman for his gadgets. But, like, he does have a lot of different, you know, weaponry that he can use at his disposal that we don't see sometimes like in the earlier movies or even the amazing spider-man that have popped up again in recent years in the film so things obviously like the iron arms from the movies things like uh the different web modes that the suit has you know all these things are like staples of spider-man and they sort of do like show his versatility and i think the spider bro i don't know does that make sense it like yeah. ties into that yeah. aspect and shows that spider-man does have this technological advantage over a lot of his enemies yeah so. it's like a, it's like a, what's it, like a drone or something that he actually invented himself yeah it's it, pretty cool yeah i mean i guess tony stark it, right but in this universe it would be him wouldn't it yeah not tony yeah but i what i like doing was actually throw out the spider bro and then throw out a bunch of spider drones <laughs> and just let them all and like... just like stand there while all my like little spider bros just do the work for me <laughs> <laughs> I like that strategy. That's fun. Well, that also ties too into how you can play this game how you want in a lot yeah. of ways with the combat. If you're if you're just like I don't care about gadgetry, you just want to use straight webs and melee, you're good enough. You do that. But maybe you're someone who wants to web bomb, jump in. Maybe you're someone who wants to throw out all the spider bros and like drones <laughs> all at the same time and let them go. Yeah, there's a lot of fun ways to do that, especially with this. Our fourth one, or should I say our second one? I guess it's the second, our second best. best one. Yeah, would actually be the defense shield. This was really close to being number one, actually. Yeah. Uh, we kind of went back and forth on that because once we once this thing, we timed it. And I believe it's about 14 to 15 seconds of invincibility. Yeah, so nothing, nothing knocks you down. No, it doesn't knock you down. It doesn't even hurt your health bar. Yeah. Nothing. So you activate this, and for about 14 to 15 seconds... You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're just golden. Like, nothing can touch you. I mean, what what can you really say about that? I mean, there's parts of this game where you're like, let's say you are low on health, you need to heal, you think you're going to get hit by another Sable Henchman. That's what happens to me a lot of the time, you know, like if I get in a pinch. Yeah. So, you activate the defense shield, you're able to heal up, you're good. Or maybe you are just in an area where you're like, uh, I don't have health built up like in reserve, you know, for focus that I can use. So I should just activate this, get my combo going so that I build up that focus and then I move on. There's a lot of different ways to use this. Yeah, it's it's basically like the I I it's it's the invincibility mode basically. Yeah, it's invincible Sorry, cheat for 15 seconds. There. No, I agree. <laughs> it's yeah, it's really good and it seems kind of overpowered too. There's a lot of stuff in this game like, the like fact, that. The fact that it's 15 seconds. Yeah. A regular combat match, you could be on there for like 32 seconds to a minute. Yeah. And that's like a fourth what, of yeah, your time. Yeah, that fourth of it? Yeah, so that's the thing. Especially those like ones with less people. I mean, not that you're going to die to like four thugs like in an alley. Right. But you could really just turn this on, take them out, not bother to And then you're like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. So there's a lot of uses for that. It is OP. There's a lot of like OP powers in this game, but... I think part of that is just letting you have fun. Uh, it seems like they focus more on that than the challenge aspect right. of some of these. So our final one that we have, this is the one that I use pretty much all the time now uh, because I love the web gadgetry and everything and, and it really just makes the game sort of flow interestingly with the combat, but that's resupply. Resupply is insane. It's just insanity. <laughs> Like, you just activate it, and whatever gadget you're on, it slowly regenerates all of them. Especially when you just, you just like, throw out a suspension maker, so you can resupply that, do it again, resupply it, do it again. Honestly, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually switch between gadgets that you are resupplying at the same time. So you can hit resupply, start on suspension matrix, get two of them, swap it over to impact web and get one of those, then swap it to web bomb, get two of those, yeah. and you might even have time to get like an electric web. Right. As long as you're like slowing down time and swapping between them, you're actually like getting all of these back at once and then you're able to use them in combat again. Uh, and it just sort of makes it go faster over and over. And your focus build, like not your focus, but your suit power builds up again quickly. Yeah. So you get this relatively often. Like this makes, 
stealth section is insanely easy. Right. And combat sections are kind of a pushover with this thing, too. Right. But it really does let you play around with the powers that Spider-Man has, too, with the webs and everything. So it is really fun and definitely on the top of our list. Well, it's definitely the best. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So, hey, let us know what you think in the comments down below. What is your favorite power in Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4? Maybe you have a favorite power. Maybe you have a least favorite power. And, hey, I want to know, what do you think of the Quips power? Something like that, where it's just kind of like a, hey, I'm doing this for fun. I'm Mr. Funny Man getting some Quips in. Let me know what you think about that. Be sure to check out the Instagram, the Twitter, the Reddit, the Discord. We've got a Patreon now. Oh, we've got everything. Who's going to make us an IMDb? We'll find out in the future and see you in the next one. Have a great day.